This video is going to just be kind of a quick demo of a uh, kind of a neat little application that I recently found and I thought that I would share. So um, sometimes you may be in a situation where you have a, a computer or a server that doesn't have a CD-ROM in it and uh, you need to do some work on it or you need to install an operating system and uh, one of the ways that you can do that is boot it from a USB drive but uh, it's not always easy to get an image to put onto that USB drive that you can boot from. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to take ISO images and we're going to put them, kind of convert them into bootable USB drives and we're going to do that using an application called Rufus and uh, it, it makes it really easy to do this before you just kind of have to um, mess around with it and kind of pull a hack off to get stuff to boot and, and most of the time I couldn't get the stuff to actually boot in the end or I'd have to keep messing with it to actually get it bootable. Um, but like I said, this is going to be quick and easy and uh, straight to it and you'll have your bootable USB within a few minutes. Alright, so to get started using Rufus, we just have to visit the website and download our free application and give it a try. So here's the uh, link to get Rufus. And you see on the page it talks about some of the conditions where it's good to use Rufus and where it fits in. And um, it really is an efficient application and it's really fast, especially with the rights to the USBs. So you go ahead and download a free zip file from there, and then you extract it, and you're going to get this executable that we see here. So we see that we have options for choosing the device, the partition scheme, uh, the file system, and the cluster size, and we can name the volume, and then we got options for a quick format, creating the bootable disk, and creating extended labels. And we can do uh, free DOS, MS-DOS, and uh, ISO images and here we're going to do a VMware uh, ESXi we're going to use the ISO image for that and then we just select it and then we hit start and it tells us that it's going to destroy all data on the USB drive and we hit OK and it's going to start making our bootable USB drive I'm going to go ahead and speed up this portion a little bit but um, it really only takes a few minutes but uh, for time's sake like I said I'm going to just skip through it And there you have it, a fast and reliable option for creating bootable USBs from uh, ISO images. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.